Hello again, Star Wars The Clone, For Clone Wars action figure collectors and fans. This is another Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure review um, by CHA1MAN2. And this time I'm going to be reviewing uh, Clone Trooper Draw, which you see right in front of you here. Um, uh, you may or may not be able to tell from my videos, but I am a huge fan of Star Wars The Clone Wars uh, Clone Trooper action figures. And so pretty much any clone trooper is a must have for me and I'm in started collecting uh, Clone Wars action figures um, about March 2009 so suffice to say I was a little bit behind in collecting but I'm starting to catch up now and of course any new clone figure that comes out I, I have to get them and so uh, when clone trooper draw I saw that him being advertised to come out of course I had to get him um, so he, He's a great figure. He comes with a lot of accessories, which is awesome. Sometimes, you know, the figures, they don't always come with so many accessories. But um, Clone Trooper Draw is featured in the episode of Season 2 called Weapons Factory. It comes right after my absolute favorite episode, Landing at Point Rain. And it's when, after they've taken the ray shield down, they actually go and destroy the weapons factory. And Clone Trooper Draw... Um, is uh, one of the clones. He has it carries a rocket launcher and helps to take down the weapons factory. Um, he features the Commander Stone body sculpt, which means that um, you're sad, you're you're sacri sacrificing uh, articulation um, <clears throat> for more of a look, and so. Um, he doesn't have any chest articulation and um, he doesn't have any ankle articulation so while, while I'm uh, talking about articulation I'll just go ahead and go over all of it he's got ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulder, ball hinged elbow swivel wrist, no, no uh, ball hinged wrists on this one he has no waist articulation no chest articulation swivel hips, ball hinged knees and no ankle articulation. So even though he doesn't have the greatest articulation, I do like the the sculpt to the Commander Stone with the more barrel chest. It definitely looks more accurate to the to the cartoon. And also I've noticed and I haven't really seen anybody talk about this and the Commander Stone um, sculpt features a, a, a really good sculpt on the shoulder pad I think. It looks exactly like the cartoon. You may may or may not have noticed this, but the, the cartoon, the, the, the shoulder bells wrap almost completely around the shoulder and they're a lot more narrower than the older sculpt. So, um, not that I dislike the older sculpt, I actually prefer it, especially if I'm going to make customs because uh, they have more articulation and so you can do a lot more with them. But, um, let's talk about some of the other things with Clone Trooper Draw. He's got some really cool markings on him which always add to a good clone figure. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus there. I'm new at this webcam stuff. Let me move him back a little bit. He's got a, a, a sort of like a, looks like Pac-Man with some sort of thing coming out of his mouth. That's what it looks like to me. Two circular type markings. He's also got the uh, marking on his chest that, or on his uh, shoulder bell that I believe is similar to what Captain Locke ends up having. It doesn't have the same exact details, but it's very similar to what Captain Locke, which is a figure that's coming out next year, has on his arm. Um, uh, accessories that he comes with. He comes up comes with the really nice uh, rocket launcher that came with Clone Trooper Reese. Um, he comes with a DC-15 carbine blaster. Um, a lot of people like to call it a blaster pistol. It's not a pistol, it's a carbine. It's a shortened blaster. He comes with a one of my favorite clone accessories is the, the backpack here that they can throw all of their weapons in and I like to take, take his carbine and just pop it in there like that. And he also came with a DC-15 blaster rifle, the full long, full length uh, blaster rifle, but I took that and gave it to one of my custom ARC troopers because I figured draw can feature the rocket launcher. So I don't have that for the video, but he does come with one of those. He comes with a lot of accessories. Um, I wish uh, all the Clone Wars figures, since you're paying around you know seven and a half, eight bucks for each of them, came with as many 
accessories. He also does come with the figure stand, as all Clone Wars figures, um, 2010 Clone Wars figures now are coming out with. Um, he does come with the battle card. I don't really care about the battle card at all. Um, and he comes with the game die, which I, I don't care about the game die either. I don't play the game. So I pretty much just chuck that stuff in the bin. The, the cards are cool to look at, I guess. But, but um, that'll do it for this review of Clone Trooper Draw. Definitely a, a, a cool clone figure to have. And I haven't really seen too many of him. They've restocked a lot of the pegs around my hometown. <clears throat> with uh, his wave of figures, and but I haven't seen him. I've seen Quinlan Voss and the Zombie Geonosian and, and uh, um, Kato Paris City, but I haven't seen too many draws. So if you do see him, I would I would suggest picking him up because you never know if they're gonna re-release it or not. Now that'll do it for this review. Um, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and favorite if you like the video. And, of course, comments in are always welcome. And um, until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye-bye.